Mr. Beat presents Supreme Court Briefs. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, June 24th, 1997. The state of Oklahoma convicts Jim C. McGirt, a member of the Seminole Nation, of sexually assaulting a four-year-old girl, who also happened to be his wife's granddaughter. For these horrible acts, the judge sentenced him to 1,000 years plus life in prison without the possibility of parole. Henrietta, Oklahoma, August 28th, 1999. Patrick Murphy, a member of the Muscogee Nation, brutally murders a man named George Jacobs. How brutal was the murder? Murphy had cut off Jacobs' genitals and left him in a ditch to bleed to death. Later, in Oklahoma State Court, a jury convicted Murphy and a judge sentenced him to the death penalty. Murphy tried to get his conviction overturned though, arguing that his trial was in the wrong court. Murphy and his lawyers said he should have had a trial in federal court because he was a Native American and the murder occurred on Native American land. Specifically, it took place within Muskogee Reservation Territory. However, the Oklahoma State trial rejected Murphy's request. He appealed again, this time to the Oklahoma Court of Criminal Appeals, but it also rejected his request. Murphy then appealed the decision to the federal government. He specifically appealed to the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Tenth Circuit, and it agreed with Murphy, ordering that he be given a new trial. Keep in mind that by this point, 18 years had passed since the murder. After the aforementioned Jim C. McGirt found out about Murphy's case, he appealed to the District Court of Wagoner County to get a new trial. It denied his request. Next, he appealed to the Oklahoma Court of Criminal Appeals, but it also denied his request. McGirt then appealed to the Supreme Court. Meanwhile, Tommy Sharp, the warden of the Oklahoma State Penitentiary, appealed Murphy's case to the Supreme Court, and it heard oral arguments on November 27th, 2018. However, the court had decided to wait to decide on that case case until it also heard McGirt's case. Mostly since they were deadlocked at 4-4 four to four since Justice Neil Gorsuch had recused himself from it since he had been in the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Tenth Circuit when they heard it. The court heard oral arguments on May 11th, 2020 due to the COVID-19 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 pandemic. This case was one of 12 in which the court, for the first time in its history, used teleconferencing for arguments. The court was fully aware of the optics of this case. It was considering siding with a child rapist and brutal murderer. After all, it was also fully aware of the implications. If they sided with McGirt and Murphy, this might open up a huge can of worms in terms of the legal rights of Native Americans. One law the courts focused on was the Major Crimes Act, a law Congress passed way back in 1885 that placed certain crimes under federal jurisdiction if they occurred on Native American reservations. For this case, there was a broader issue. The court had to consider whether or not a state could put a Native American accused of a crime on Native American territory on trial. On July 9th, 2020, it announced it had sided with McGirt and Murphy. It was five to four, and it was the aforementioned Neil Gorsuch who broke the deadlock. Even though Gorsuch was a right-leaning justice, he sided with the left-leaning justices. He also wrote the majority opinion, saying that land reserved for the Seminole and Muscogee nations remains, quote, Indian country under the Major Crimes Act, and therefore Oklahoma 
Oklahoma did not have jurisdiction to prosecute McGirt nor Murphy. States have no authority to reduce federal reservations within their borders, he wrote. Imagine if they did. It would leave tribal rights in the hands of the very neighbors who might be least inclined to respect them. Gorsuch added that the federal government has an obligation to fulfill its promises to Native American tribes it had historically made treaties with. Chief Justice John Roberts wrote the dissenting opinion, arguing that the majority's decision, quote, profoundly destabilized the governance of Eastern Oklahoma. And, uh... Yeah, this decision really has shaken things up in eastern Oklahoma. Still, McGirt v. Oklahoma was a huge win for Native American rights. Ever since, every Native American tribal citizen who has been convicted under state law for crimes committed on reservation lands could now seek a new trial in federal courts. Well, in Oklahoma, at least. For now, at the time of the McGirt decision, this applied to around 1,900 Oklahoma prisoners alone. More broadly speaking, the McGirt decision made it clear that around half of Oklahoma was Native American land, not Oklahoma land. This includes the state's second largest city, Tulsa. That's a big freaking deal, folks. Now, the McGirt decision was later somewhat weakened by the Supreme Court case Castro Huerta v. Oklahoma of 2022. In that decision, the court said non-tribal members could still be prosecuted for crimes in state and federal courts. Regardless, McGirt v. Oklahoma gave tribal sovereignty a huge boost. On August 25th, 2021, in a new trial in the U.S. District Court for the Eastern District of Oklahoma, Judge John Heal III sentenced Jim C. McGirt to three life sentences. But an appeals court recently reversed the conviction and his fate is currently in limbo. Patrick Murphy no longer is on death row. On May 11th, 2022, in a new trial also in the U.S. District Court for the Eastern District of Oklahoma, Judge Ronald White sentenced Murphy to life imprisonment. <laughs> I'll see you for the next Supreme Court case, jury. It's a group that has been screwed over time and time again throughout American history, but in my opinion, the McGirt decision was finally a big win for American Indians. That said, several others are still trying to overturn it, and the decision has left a bunch of stuff unresolved. And it's mostly just affected American Indians within Oklahoma. What do you think about the decision though? Do you agree with the court? Let me know down below and thanks for watching.